Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I would like to showcase one of my most popular projects on GitHub. I'm going to showcase how I build it. It's an RPA tool for applying to LinkedIn jobs. So it's this one over here. And what is RPA, you might be wondering? Well, RPA, I describe it as the use of intelligent software to handle high volume repeatable tasks that previously required humans to perform. And RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. So a couple of examples from RPA would be handling queries, handling call center operations, web scrapping, or for example, building analytics reports that will be the same type of data, the data that you want to analyze on those reports. So in this project, we're going to be using a framework called Selenium. So Selenium basically automates browsers. It is a framework for testing web applications. And we're going to be primarily using the Selenium Python findings for this project. I'm going to show you a quick demo of how the project would uh, look like after building it. So as you can see in this demo, I'm just going to run it from the terminal. And it pops up the LinkedIn website and it logs in with your credentials using your email and your password. Then it looks for a job, in this case, machine learning engineer in a specific location. In this case, it's United States. And then the application filters the job positions by easy apply. And then for each job application that shows in each of the pages, we're going to be applying with the easy apply button. And it would only be doing this with the applications that only require to submit the application directly. If you want to try to do it for yourself and trying to make it more complex, you can also try to build the same tool and not only use the easy apply button, but just make it more complex and just apply through other websites and try to submit your CV. You can do a lot of different things with this uh, Selenium or automation test process. Okay, so if you go to my GitHub and you open the link, you're gonna find the readme with all the steps that you have to undertake to make this work and the program itself. So you have the main application that we're gonna build and a configuration file that I'm gonna tell you why we're doing this and how to build it. And I decided to divide this tutorial in four steps. So this first part, I'm going to show you how to set up the project. The second tutorial will be how to log in and do your job search. The third tutorial will be filter and finding job offers. And the fourth tutorial is about submitting the application and closing the Selenium session. So let's go to it. Okay, so the very first thing that we have to do is to actually download a web driver. A web driver is basically the web driver drives a browser natively as just a user will do as if you would be just browsing your web. Since I'm using Chrome for showcasing, I will be downloading a Chrome driver and if you go to my GitHub as well, you're going to find the link to download the web driver just here. Uh, I forgot to mention that all the links I will provide in the description of this video. So you would have my GitHub repository attached and the drivers as well. But as I said, you can find everything just in the GitHub repository as well. So if you go here, if we open this tab, you're going to see that 
you're going to have a lot of different web drivers and versions. So if you don't know where your which version you have, you just have to quickly come to help and about Google Chrome and you will easily find this. So I already checked which one is mine and mine is uh, 83.0.4103.39 and make sure that you download the one specific to your OS. I'm on Mac, so I will download this one. Okay, so once it downloads, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract this Chrome driver and we're gonna place it in our project setup. Okay, so in your project setup, what you have to do is we're gonna create a new folder that we're gonna call driver path or just driver. And then we're gonna put inside our unzip Chrome driver that we just downloaded. Okay, so now we can start building our project. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna navigate to our project folder. And we're gonna fire up our Anaconda distribution. Uh, I use Anaconda to work with Python. You can basically use whatever you feel like using. And I like also working with virtual environments. So I'm just going to create a virtual environment for this project just like very quickly. Just call it Selenium Pi. And we're going to be using Python 3.7. So I like to keep all my projects in different virtual environments. Okay, so now we can just activate Selenium Pi. And we can just fire up our Visual Studio Code. There you go. And we check that we have our web driver. For Chrome here. Okay, so another thing that we have to do is to install a Selenium package. I specified here how you can do that. You can install it using pip install Selenium. I am using Conda right now, so I'm going to be using Conda install Selenium. and that's about it okay so the next step that we're going to do for this setup we're gonna make our two files that I mentioned before so our main script Python script and our configuration file that I just quickly mentioned so I like using this configuration files mainly because you can just easily configure the parameters and initial settings for your program. And if anything changes, like, you know, right now we're gonna configure our email and password. So if you change your password, for example, you wouldn't have to change each line of your main script, but would, you would just use your configuration file and that's about it. You will only have to switch maybe one line of this code from the configuration file and you wouldn't have to change everything from here. So it's a very good practice. Okay, so what is the configuration file going to contain? Well, I describe it here as well. Let's just make this a bit smaller. Basically, you need a couple of things for making this project work. You will need an email to log in into LinkedIn. You will need your password for the login. You will need some keywords for finding a specific job title. 
and you're going to need the location where you're currently looking for a position and the driver path where your web driver is located, which in this case we have located inside our own project and it's called driver. So let's go to it. Okay, so let's just build our, have the keyword in so many different languages, so I have to change constantly. Okay, so we need an email. This is my official email. In case you have questions, you can also contact me through that email. A password, which obviously I'm not going to show, but I will configure it later for make the program work. A keyword, or keyword, set of keywords. In my case, I'm just going to look for machine learning engineer positions, a location, I'm going to say Copenhagen, that's where I'm based on, and a driver path, which in this case is called Chrome Driver. Perfect. Now we save it. So once you have configured your JSON file, we're just going to start building our main script. So of course, the first thing that we have to do is to import the package to use the web driver. This is because I am not in the right Folder, your mini Python. Should be able to, yeah. Web driver. So with this, we're going to be able to use our web driver and to indicate exactly the actions that we want to perform as if we were a user. So we're just going to create a class called UC Apply LinkedIn. And we're going to make our constructor where we're going to initialize our object parameters. So we're going to can call this parameter initialization. And then I didn't close here. Aim equals to main. Then we will call this. Let's call it a bot. Is you apply LinkedIn? And as you see, I'm passing an object here, which is the data file. This is our configuration file over here. So we need to read a JSON file with the data that we're going to initialize here. So with open config.json as config file data equals json load config file and we pass our data here okay so we're just gonna build quickly the constructor so email is data and as you remember the configuration file is called email self dot password data password self dot keywords data keywords self 
that location is all equals data location. And so that driver equals here we're going to read our crum web driver. So web driver dot crum. As you can see, there are different type of web drivers. So if you were an Android, you would choose Android. If you're an age, you would use age, Safari, Firefox, whatever web you're using. I'm using Chrome, so web driver Chrome. Data driver path. Okay, so we're gonna quickly try this out. And as a test, we should probably gonna get this driver up and running. So we're gonna see how a Chrome page will just pop up. So I will go to the terminal and I will say, let me double check, yeah. Python name.py and open and yeah so a web driver has popped up and it says chrome is being controlled by automated test software and that's about it that's about it for now so this is the first tutorial how to set up the project and how to initialize the parameters and I hope you like it and I hope to see you on the next video on how to log in into LinkedIn and how to make your first job search or automatize job search. Thank you so much and if you like the video, please subscribe.